Welcome to Fukoma, My 70s Kitchen, the Narcissist Edition. Local Narcissist Discussed. I know you're hungry. I know you're upset. I'm Joe Riccio, and welcome to Fukoma, My 70s Kitchen, brought to you from My 70s Kitchen. Today I'm joined by... Oh, Ashley McLaughlin, hello, yep. also known as the Beer Mama. My point, that's what we do. I know, yeah. I just wanted to make sure. And we are uh, continuing today our tradition of uh, time-honored Robert McCloskey-esque dishes. <laughs> I think, uh, you know, if he was alive today, is he alive? Is he I don't really know. But, but if he was here. <laughs> yeah, is he? If McCloskey were here, he'd want us to make seared scallops with a saffron cream sauce over mint rice. So that's what we're gonna do. And I'll be honest, actually, this dish is something that was inspired by uh, Raj Mandakar from Tulsi Restaurant oh, in Kittery. I love Tulsi so it's much. It's amazing, and they do oh a, a dish with shrimp called uh, Zafrani Jinga, and it's it's incredible. And Raj kind of taught me how to make that, that sauce, mm. and so uh, I felt that with scallops it would be a reasonable thing to do. Feels right. It does feel right. It feels right. Yeah. What else feels right is the beer you chose for us today. For this pairing, I shit. selected a Cool Ship beer. Mm -hmm. So Allagash's Cool Ship series is pretty world renowned because one, they're the first people to do a traditional Lambic style beer outside Belgium, mm -hmm. which was a huge deal. Belgians were like, hey Rob, Todd, you can't make this outside Belgium. And he was like, hey Belgians, I respectfully disagree. And then he did it. Why don't you tell so, us about the actual cool ship, okay. what that looks like, because it's pretty insane. Yeah, so a cool ship actually applies to, this term applies to the pan the beer goes into before it's even beer. So it looks, it really does look just like a giant brownie pan. And what happens is you boil all of your grain and everything and like pop and then you take it all out And while it does that, these so rude, Joe. Your phone's going. Well, off. that's because so the rice rude. is done. It's not actually rude. Because you're a popular man. I don't want to overcook. I don't want to overcook the rice. You're a popular man. Yeah, so I'm gonna step Sorry, over. It's rice. It's calling me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when you drink this beer, you're literally tasting Portland, Maine. Yeah, because, it's alive. Yeah, it's alive, and it's alive with Portland, Maine. Yeah. So it's that beer um, inoculated with all of the really cool wild bacteria and yeast that lives around Portland, and then it's also made with raspberries. So it's and tart, not, it's bright, it's beautiful. We're not talking smuckers. Uh, so we're making some seared scallops. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to saute these onions to okay. start. We'll get to the drinking. We're good. I'm going to use my Sally Homemaker rubber spatula here. Fisher Price, my first spatula. Um, <laughs> Because I like it. I don't give a shit. The spatula is great. It doesn't melt when it touches really hot things. And I've had it for a long time. And I think it's from... <laughs> it's from William Sonoma. See? It's bougie like I am. I'm so fancy. So we're going to saute the onions oh God, in the ghee. So yeah, let's have some. Cheers. Oh, my God. Mm. Mm. Wow, that's... Delicious. Oh, yeah. I like one of the very few palatable pumpkin beers out there called Ghoul Ship. Yes. Um, however, it doesn't really count because it is like pumpkin. The whole point of pumpkin beer is sucking as they taste like pumpkin pie and they suck. And when you make a beer with pumpkin and you don't use those things, it doesn't really count to me. It's just like, okay, you just slid this in here. I'd be just yeah. happy drinking this. It's fucking Ghoul Ship, right? I mean. But you used to do... Pump like caca. The, the pump caca or whatever. It's yeah. I hate pumpkin beer. Oh, show it off. <laughs> Show it off, girl. It's from this. Yeah, look at that. It's from this beautiful this is me tableau as, of men. This is me as Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's um, you I as think, Jesus. I think is Shaheen Judas or is Andrew Barron Judas? I'm I not know. sure. But I decided last minute we should all take our shirt off because Jim Devin here, you'll see he has a pumpkin. I was like, you can't let Jim be the only one with his shirt off. <laughs> and you'll see my bitch tits happening here, and they're fun. Uh, I am Robert Paulson. Um <laughs> And we tasted, was it you tasted 30 pumpkin all beers? Of these? Yeah. I am actually one of the world's <laughs> foremost authorities of pumpkin beers, and I fing hate them. You know, the thing is, if you like pumpkin head, that means that you like to chew dentine gum while eating potting soil, and you're a loser. <laughs> this is the second time this happened. Pumpkin has been brought up in like yeah. a. 
social situation in like two weeks. Pumpkin head is the is the, is the worst. Stirring my I got the Sally Homemaker sp- You're like back. Very aggressive. Getting very. It aggressive makes me feel like I'm an actual is. cook when I stir things more. That's fair. Or if you like, you pick up. I'm like this is. I'm like this is what TK would do. Right. You know. <laughs> now that I've. <laughs> Professional. Yeah. You know my James Beard Award winning silk screen napkins. Nap onion got out. What I'm gonna do is an upscale version of classic comfort food. <laughs> out of town here we go <laughs> are you ready for this question are you ready i'm not no she's not I'm ready. Definitely okay so not i'm not gonna ready. do it then we're gonna do something else like scallops <laughs> scallops or scallops scallops i say scallops it's scallop. but you're are you a native mainer yes okay so native mainers say scallops they do they say scallops but massachusetts people i feel like would say scallops and well, I'm not in Massachusetts, people. But it sounds more in their in their you whole. You offend me, sir. Like they like to instead of they like to say feckin' instead of fucking. Like that's a whole. Yeah. So I feel okay, like they so, say scallops. But it's Chris, a very. Chris, can you clarify on that? Is can that somebody wrong? Only wrong. Wrong. Okay, Dorian says we're wrong. That's how you should say it according to like English language. So there's rules. scalloped potatoes, like. Ugh. Scallops. <laughs> it's not a scallop. It's so lame. No. Look at this. It's a long vowel. T K. Nothing on me. I freshly toasted and ground some cardamom here. Cardamom going in. And then we're going to add a little, uh, and then we're going to do that. It's all so, <laughs> Watch for the salt. <laughs> <laughs> now what we're going to do is we're going to puree all this in my uh, no-name blender that I got on Amazon. <clears throat> this blender basically reminds me of, have you ever seen the movie The Burbs? There's a furnace uh, in the basement that scares the shit out of everybody who lives in the house. This blender's kind of the same thing for me. Like, I don't know what it's... It's very powerful, but I feel like it's kind of on, like, an engine that could power, like, a motorboat. <laughs> oh, look at that. So anticlimactic. So Ashley is going to remove the foot from our scallops. What? Do you want to explain to people look what you these. mean? So these are from Sopo Seafood in the Maine. And Thanks, they smell amazing and pristine. They're uh, and the foot is this little guy right here. And technically, it's, I mean, it's not a big deal to eat it. I've actually, I've had somebody take all the feet and then chop it up and make it almost like a ceviche with the scallop cool. feet. And that was actually delicious. Um, but for the sake of what we're doing, we're just going to, we're going to de-foot the scallop as easy as just peel it off. Yeah. And, and we're going to give it a sear. Nope. Yeah, look at that. Right off. Like you don't even yeah. have to do Easy it. peasy, one, right two, off. three, Z. Easy breezy, beautiful cover girl. Yes. Yeah. Dude, look at the scallop. Yeah, those are. F- I was oh actually worried about. This is beautiful. Yeah. Look at this thing. I know. It's like it's wait, fat. This is like a quarter pound scallop. Oh, you know what? That's this is like the. You scallop know what's going pop. off? This is the scallop. I think the show needs to have the ghee alarm, where the alarm goes off when ghee has to be dispensed. Is there an actual large sound for this? Oh no, I'm just my voice. Uh, this dish basically involves what I like to refer to as an upsetting amount of ghee. Inappropriate amount. Inappropriate. You misspoke. Filthy. No, appropriate. Oh, appropriate. Oh, yeah. I think it's very appropriate. Look at this. Here's another one. This thing is huge. I was going to bring you on the show to serve you chicken shit scallops, okay? Like, <laughs> um, okay. Right, what do we do next? We're going to see ya these scallops. Scallops. What? All right. So a lot of people cook scallops at home, and okay. a lot of people it up this is important knowledge now we are going to see i'm going to do about two minutes on each side do you think yeah i think that sounds great yeah. and then like i think the key oh you is know what we're gonna do we're gonna like, season them first use ghee or butter things that don't have things that don't have a really low smoke point are nice i think we go white pepper rather than black pepper i like white pepper, white pepper like holds up more after cooking than black pepper does black pepper is more of a finishing pepper rough two minutes itinerary on these guys the, the pan's, pan's like, why don't you make it three? Because I'm not hot yet. <laughs> I'm really not ready for you, even though you've been heating me for like the last ten minutes. Um, oh, gonna... you want to sear these? Oh, oh, searing. Oh, that's. I'm oh. sorry. You should have told me. I uh, I was on. I was thinking ago. that maybe you wanted to lightly steam them, and uh, <laughs> that's what I was going for. But your way is good too, Joe. What do you think the number one mistake that people make when they cook scallops at home? Uh, tossing them around like a stir fry. Yes. Moving your pan too much. And granted, with, like, we are using a nonstick pan here, but we're doing it over pretty high temperatures, well, allegedly. Um, 
and we're crowding them for fun. But it's, you, you don't know. need them to brown at all. No. It's fine. So what we're doing is not browning the scallops. So at home, if you're doing this, don't crowd yeah. your pan. It's not that crowded. They, listen, these people are all... It's not that crowded. It's so not these, crowded. These scallops are so socially distanced that you wouldn't even know. And you look. Look at the tan scallop. It's just interacting with the white scallop. Just it's no. a melting pot. <laughs> it's look at this. Fun. This is the United College of Benetton happening <laughs> in a pan. It's fine. We just solved all of the world's problems. We did. <laughs> you just did the thing you said not to do. Chris, what was that look? Um, I can only see your eyes. They're very pretty, but they're not expressive enough for me to know what you want me to do. I say that to my mom all the time. Oh. She have dead eyes? <laughs> yeah. Chris doesn't have no, dead she eyes. she just hates me. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just Welcome said, to Food Coma, where we talk about my mommy welcome, issues. Welcome to <laughs> Ash, Ashley McLaughlin's. It's Let's fine. talk about my mom. We've already talked oh. about it's over for me after this anyway, so. Yeah. Oh, that one brown. Oh, hey. Got one. Oh, that one brown a little. Like I said, if you're serving seared scallops and they're that you know on top of something and that's like the whole deal, like that's great. But this is in a cream sauce, so I think it'll be fine. Yeah. Scallops smell delicious. They really do. Watch so what I'm doing now, or what Ashley is doing now, uh, is we're folding our mint chutney into the rice. The rice got cooked in, in ghee, and then it's a chutney with mint cilantro lime and shallot so we're gonna kind of mix this all together make it a nice pretty green next we're gonna do cook some serrano chilies oh oh all right plenty of rice we're gonna throw some, some serrano rice. chilies and some garlic and some more ghee obviously actually the funny thing is because of ghee if you're on the whole 30 you can still rock this really that's right. I didn't because know that. Because with, with clarified butter, you separate all the milk There's salts. There's no milk salt. <laughs> Ooh, tricky, tricky. Oh. Now comes the fun part though. that I have actually... They made me drink three bottles of wine so I could just do this. <laughs> we made you. They are the worst. The wine papa is back. I does not want to deglaze the pan. And we're going to wait till the boozy smell kind of cooks off here. And then all the assembly begins. First thing we're doing, adding a whole bunch of saffron. There's a lot of saffron. Yep. On this show, we are not stingy with saffron. And some turmeric, which, like I said, you can get to play that game of, is this jaundice or turmeric on your fingers? We're adding our puree here of onion and cardamom, cashew butter, because it wasn't rich enough to begin with. We're gonna add some heavy cream too. And always. Always be seasoning. Always be seasoning. A little black pap. Break out a little oak hest. Just enough. The healthy start. portion of this program has concluded. It never started. It never started. Never started. And the key to this is the cardamom. The cardamom has that like pistachio kind of flavor to it. Yeah. And the saffron and turmeric give it the nice pretty color. So we're going to let that kind of work itself out. Taste it. All right. A little hot. Yeah, it's going to be hot. Mm. Mm. Pop them right in there. And fold them right in. These are like the meatiest scallops I've, I've seen for a long time. They, there's like, it's uh, crazy. like three or four in this batch of scallops that are like I wouldn't, fight I wouldn't fight it. No. All right, we're gonna kill the heat. So we go with oversized Asian spoon to plate up our mint rice, try the rice. You can try the rice. Nice. Get in Ready, there. okay. I appreciate that you texted me and asked what color I was gonna wear. I'm you know, I just wanted, I knew that we were filming and we were both going to be on camera and I was trying to be considerate. You were. Oops. You were very considerate. Oh, wow, that's so pretty. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm, -hmm. really good. Yeah? We'll take a, yeah. Mm-hmm. 
And I think like a tart, mm. a tart beer with this is definitely the right idea too. The mm. scallops are rich, it's spicy, and that like mm. anything tart kind of cuts right through that mm. and scrubs the palate and gets you ready for your next bite. I have to, like I said, I have to give another shout out to Raj Mandakar at Tulsi Restaurant in Kittery, Maine. I definitely think that Tulsi is like, kind of, it's kind of like my benchmark for Indian food in Maine. Tulsi was the first one where I had food that was like really intense and almost delicate and like a very like a feminine almost quality to it rather than just the overly clunky. It's just um, so, it, yeah. Yeah. I understand what you mean. It's just really well done there. This, oh my gosh. this is delicious. Again. Successful. Robert McCloskey. You'd be giving me a big thumbs up right now. <laughs> uh, you like your Maine scallops? Uh, you don't want to do them in a necessarily a Maine way? This is the way to do it. Saffron cream sauce, mint rice, with Ashley McLaughlin. I'm Joe Riccio. I'm this Ashley. Is, and you are Ashley. <laughs> and this is Food Coma, My 70s Kitchen. If you like what you saw today, uh, go to my YouTube channel and like and subscribe, which is Joe Riccio on YouTube. And if you really like us, uh, go to our Patreon. It's uh, patreon.com, uh, Food Coma Podcast. And you can choose from one of three levels of Roman Emperor, whichever one you want to be, uh, as much as you want to support us. Uh, there's lots of fun perks there, uh, I think, and it'll be worth your while. So maybe go do that now-ish before... Uh, Five minutes elapses, so thank you.